Imagine waking up to a sheet full of fresh geotargeted leads with verified emails. No VAs and no copy paste. If we're looking at the Google Sheet, these are all scraped from Google Maps. Most outreach fails before the email even written because getting the rich contact list is slow and expensive. Today we will automate the whole pipeline. Free to cheap, using open source N8N, Google Places API, a little AI from Firecrawl, and the knowledge base from samautomation.work. N8N is a self-host free option or a cloud-based option for $20 a month. Google Places API returns maps business data. Google Sheets API, you can store your data and organize it. Firecrawl Extract. It's a new future from Firecrawl. I will explain it later in the video. And SAM Automation for all your automation knowledge and guides. Check out samautomation.work. Links below in the description. Before we will start, we will have to do a little bit setup. If you copy this sheet and make it your own, you can generate with ChatGPT all these kind of zip codes. Currently it's uh, tailored for the Dutch hobby niche. So you will notice they're all Dutch zip codes. Yeah, you can just keep generating and generate new zip codes and place them in this tab. When you have done that, uh, the next step is to translate the categories uh, into your own language and to use a category the only thing you will have to do is remove ignore and leave it empty currently uh, for this demo I'm scraping all the hobby stores in the zip codes over here and let's go back to the sheet when you have set up, set up the Google Sheet, you will go to the settings. You will grab your URL from your sheet. You can do this like this. Share and everybody with a link. It paste the link over here. Then you will have to select the categories tab and the zip code tab. When we are testing, test tab, you will get this output. Next, next step is to grab the URL of your sheet and grab the zip codes. It will grab all the zip codes you've entered in the zip code tab. Um, after that, it will grab and filter the zip codes. It will add a row number to the zip code. Uh, this will uh, be necessary because it will make it unique. Uh, split out, uh, we will then select 10 zip codes. Those 10 zip codes will be passed through to the next node to loop them. And we will get the category for all those zip codes. We will filter the categories and we will eventually select one. You can uh, see which one we have selected, the hobby stores. The next part is to go to the loop to grab all the uh, categories that we are going to search for. Then we are going to set the zip code to make it all ready for this query we're going to search. Right. Uh, we will select one zip code to append to the search query. And this is the setup of the HTTP request from Google Maps API, where you will have to set up your credentials uh, for the Google Maps API. 
If you don't know how to do this, check out the knowledge base technical guides from Sam Automation that work. There are a lot of guides to set up all the Google credentials for YouTube, WhatsApp, uh, if you need them. Uh, this, if you want to adjust the workflow for your own niche, you have, will have to change this text query because it will now search for uh, hobby stores in this uh, zip code region in the Netherlands. So if you change that, it will change to your own niche. Eventually when the search uh, has been done with the Google Maps API, you will get the results. And these are all stores in this zip code area. And all the, the stores are selected that have been found. And uh, there will be an uh, ID set. Uh, duplicates will be removed. So if there are any duplicates in this search result, they all will be removed. Because we have set the ID and uh, that's why we will remove them. Then we are going to append the rows to the Google Sheet. If you uh, search in your area and you will find more uh, details of the store or the search query is better. You can just drag and drop the result you find in the search query and add it to the Google Sheet. For me, this is all I need. So the phone number, the website, the place ID, uh, and let's see, the rating, the reviews, uh, the type, what kind of store is it, the address, the coordinates, and again, the English type. But if you want to add more uh, headers, you can just go to your sheet results and add them in the first row, and you will have more options on this tab, on this note, actually. Then, the status will be grabbed of all the zip codes. Again, it's all the zip codes that are scraped. And all the zip codes that aren't scraped, we will have an empty status. And we will update for the zip code that we scraped, the status to scraped. So when we run the flow again, this is the new zip code that will be run. Uh, important uh, to notice over here because all the zip codes are really close to each other. I, I know I know this because uh, I'm from the Netherlands and I see this. So it could be that the workflow uh, won't update this status because it's only finding all the same stores. So there are no new stores because the zip codes are too close to each other. What you could do is grab the whole list enter it into Gemini and remove all the zip codes that are close to each other. So you will have more stores that are scraped and the workflow won't stop working. When you have scraped a lot of stores like I have done over here, there are a lot of stores then we are going to grab the next workflow. It's a whole new workflow that's going to search for the email address of the store. As you can see in my current search result, there isn't any contact information like an email address. So what we will have to do is to make a new template and search for the email. We will use the Google Maps uh, node to scrape the email addresses. So what we will have to do is uh, we will see here status test from the first 
header and it's in progress. So every row that in progress will be scraped into the Google Sheets. So as you can see, the last result we've done, we pulled all the results and we have selected one. Then we are going to add to the URL um, these two options. So as you can see on this URL, there already is a contact uh, after the main URL. So it's appending two uh, options here. Then we're going to use Firecrawl. If you're not familiar with Firecrawl, it's a new tool. So what they have done is uh, you can go to Firecrawl Extract. I already have a search query. I'll just copy and paste it into Firecrawl. And you can generate parameters to um, use with their new API endpoint. As a test, we will grab the URL over here and run it. So let's run it. Um, on this page, we're doing the same with this HTTP request. We're grabbing the parameters there over here. Nice, we found our email address. And we are using them into the HTTP request. The easiest way to do this is to just copy and paste the objects and set it up like I have done over here. Uh, you will need an API key and in front of the API key you will have to enter bearer to make it work. Uh, as in the header you have this authorization and that's all you have to do. Uh, when you run this step, the first uh, post to the API will be just to get started. Then we will have to wait for 30 seconds. Uh, I've done a couple of tests and 30 seconds is enough to uh, get the result. And then we will grab the result from the uh, Firecrawl Extract API and you can see that there is an email address found on the page. Then if the email, if the status is complete, we will continue and we will update the Google Sheet with the new found email address. And we will grab the result of all the completed runs over here in the final. After that, the workflow will run again with a new, let's do it now. So we can see it, uh, the new store we are going to grab is this one. So we let, let me show you, this is the new URL. So this is the code you will have to change. So for your niche, you can change uh, if in your language, the contact uh, web pages are named differently. Just change it over here, or you want to change this to customer servers, or you can just change it over here. Change this part in the code and it will append these two words to the URL. Let's see if the result, nice, look, there's an email address found. Let's go to the sheet and it's updated in the sheet. The next uh, thing you could do is just grab with a new template that's going to be produced very soon. Grab all these email addresses and start your cold outreach for your e-commerce store or your service. Ready to try it? Hit the link below. The creator plan unlocks every template you've seen plus 150 monthly renders. 
Import, tweak your sheet and start each day with new prospects automatically. With the creator plan you will get all these templates for free and we will update all the templates every week. If this saved you time, smash like, subscribe and comment what niche you will automate next. See you in the next build.